Wow, there is no difference between that and the 2500. Mm -mm. Feels like a toy. Mm hmm, does, doesn't it? That's the latest and the greatest. Couldn't get them for a while, and they're, they're still hard to come by a little bit right now. But I was lucky enough to have my order in early enough where I got them. There you go. What do you think? Oh, I'll take I like them. it. Yeah, yeah, I'll take them. 51958. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate your yeah, business. Thank you. back to the channel we just picked up two new shimano vanford 3000 series spinning reels we're gonna put together a dedicated setup for the popping cork and possibly uh, use this thing to fish out there at the jetties right now we're on our way to old 18 outfitters in magnolia texas I'm gonna pick up two fishing rods I'm unsure of right now. I, I, whenever we get there, we'll see what power we're gonna go with. It's either gonna be a medium or a medium light. It just depends on that, like the tip, on, on how it feels with that reel. So uh, let's get over there and uh, check out some rods. First time opening this fella. Brand new in the box, completely sealed. Hey Heath, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. How have you been? Been good. I just purchased two brand new reels. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just trying to match Ah, oh, I've heard of the, I heard C.A. Richardson talking about Banford's. Yeah, uh, I was actually looking for the Stratic FL, which is like that silver one that replaced the old Stratic. Yeah. And everybody was like, no, we don't have that. We've got the Banford. It replaced the CI4 Stratic. And I was like, yeah, I know that one. I'm not looking for that one. I was looking for the other one that was silver. But after taking a look at the color scheme on this, <laughs> I was like, it matches pretty well. Yeah. So... It is very tiny too. It's, it's not like what I would imagine a 3000 series spinning reel to look like. Yeah, no, you're exactly right about that. That doesn't look like a 3000. Is that on a, is that a medium action rod? Or this medium? one's a medium, right. yeah, medium light for yeah. this one. Wow. So there we go. Now I do that too. Where do you like it to, where is it supposed to balance? I like right here, somewhere like right here yeah. is what I like because then it's like the rod is not going to weigh too much up there and depending on that balance point, you're like, okay, so I'm actually going to have to use a little bit of wrist effort and muscle yeah. to keep yeah. it balanced, but I mean, it, it's okay. Um, once I throw some fish and line on it, it should get my finger It'll somewhere help. right over here. Yeah. So that fits pretty good. That's a medium light. What I'm worried about though is whenever I'm popping that cork, there's a lot right. of a lot of flex in it still. I was gonna say you wouldn't if you're using a cork, you wouldn't want a medium. Yeah, that's exactly. That's why I got this one right here to okay. see both of them. And yeah. This one's got a lot more backbone. Yeah, Oops. <laughs> yeah, that one's going to do a lot better. I think we're going to go with the mediums. Plus, I got to add that handle on, too. Yeah, yeah that'll make a difference, too. Yeah. Plus, I'm also throwing, purchasing a, uh, a power knob, just because I prefer those a lot mm -hmm. better than these right here these little paddle knobs mm -hmm. so i'm going to take this one off mm -hmm. as soon as i get those power knobs in i just ordered them today as well and 
that will add an extra ounce of weight. Mm -hmm. So it'll help balance it out. With a one ounce addition of weight for the power knob that we have just ordered, it's going to balance this guy really well. So right now, this is the medium rod. This is what we're going to go with. It's uh, It's got a lot more backbone and with needing to generate enough load up on the rod itself to engage that or make the cork pop, uh, I think this is going to be the way to go. And we're almost balanced. I kind of like for the balance point to be right there. But again, one more ounce of weight is gonna do this guy a whole world of difference in the good section. So right here, I think we got our champion. Seven foot, medium power, Arius, and uh, she looks like a beauty. The color scheme is perfect too. Check out what we just got in, y'all. Let's get one of these opened up. Ha oh, ha, yeah. Look at that right there. So we were able to pick up the one rod and that's it from old 18 they didn't have any of the others in stock we're waiting for another one to outfit the second banford with uh, a rod and then the power knob but this right here is going to allow for me to have just like crazy grip i gotta be careful before i break that tip let's put it this way Let's see what we got to do to put this on. I think it's got all the hardware. It says it's a direct fitment. I figure we got to somehow pop this piece out and then there's probably going to be a screw inside there. Okay. Yep, exactly what it was. Just nice, easy little cap right there. Get a number one jeweler screwdriver. Uh, that's fairly easy. So it looks pretty straightforward after taking a look at the instructions. It's supposed to fit directly onto it, throw a bearing, power knob, throw another bearing inside here. There we go. Oh no. I'm trying to seat that bearing. There we go. And then it says we got to put a screw. Which one though? Installation steps uh, for Shimano. Okay, if there's no gap there, there's no need to put washers at location X. After installation, you may adjust washers for better performance. Use original screw to lock knob onto shaft upgrade bearings one and two for better performance please fasten the body cap after installation all right well where's the original screw here it is right here Oh gosh, come on now. Oh, this screw's already got Loctite on it too, so that's clutch. <laughs> oh my gosh. This intricate work is pretty serious stuff. Man, I have to take that back out. All right, I got an idea. Got some Shimano grease right here. Put them on the tip. That'll hold this on just like that. Now I can 
screw that in perfectly. There we go. Oh, that is smooth. And there it is, it's done. What an upgrade. This right here is the final product of what we got, the Shimano Vanford 3000, a nice power knob right there. 41 millimeter is the one that I think I purchased. And look at that, uh, the bearings just keep it going. That is so, so, so sexy. So now we've got a proper setup for popping, like a popping cork, uh, live bait, I uh, will probably even take this out there to the jetties as well. And uh, all we're gonna do is spool her up with some 10 pound Power Pro right here that we just picked up as well. And then as soon as we get a rod for the other one, which is right here, this guy has got 20, what is it? 20, 20 pounds of drag. I was gonna say 22, but that was another reel. Uh, 20 pounds of drag and yeah, I don't think there's gonna be many fish out there in the inshore arena, uh, probably even a jack. I, I think this thing could go toe to toe with a jack. And uh, I'm just looking forward to it. Actually, you know what? I don't know about going toe to toe with a jack because we're gonna barely, if we get lucky, I think we can get um, maybe a 150 yards, which is gonna be perfect because that's a 300 yard spool and we divide the line up half and half and ready to go. So I want to throw a big massive thank you to my man Beto Brochacho. Thank you so much for sponsoring the fishing reels for the channel. I sincerely appreciate you. All the love and support that you have shown me. I could not have asked to meet a better friend and uh, it was all because you took a chance and came out to one of the Patreon meetups and well, the rest is history. Plenty of good times out there that we had while on the water together and even off the water. So thank you so much for these. Uh, they're gonna be put to great use and to everybody else, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate y'all's love and support as well. And I'll catch y'all next time when we're off the water.